Welcome back to our On the Road. We are in the not-so-hidden gem anymore of Paoli, and we have a special guest with us. And I want to get this correct, right, Julie Walser? Yeah. So Julie I want to make sure yes. you have so many titles, so I didn't want to <laughs> mess it up. You are the owner of the Paoli Road Mercantile. Yes. And you're also the president of the Merchant Association. That's Two big titles. I don't know how we can all fit that in one, you know, one business card, but we're certainly going to try. We're all Tell good. us about your business and why you chose to do it here in Paoli? Yeah, absolutely. I own a little gallery. It's called Paoli Road Mercantile. I've got about 75 different artists and makers work in there. My artists are all local or artists that I know. I happen to be a metalsmith, so I make jewelry. Wow. My, Did you make the I, jewelry you have on? I do. I did. Thank you. You should have brought us presents. <laughs> oh, we'll go I didn't with know. <laughs> didn't know. So my studio space is in the back, along with another metalsmith, Hannah of HRS Designs, and we're trying to get it set up so eventually we can do some classes and workshops back there too. That's awesome. Tell me about Paoli. I feel like, you know, a lot of people in Madison, it's kind of this hidden gem, but it's really taken off in the past year. What is it like owning a business in Paoli and then, you know, seeing people kind of flock to this small town? Yeah, you know, it's such a unique and fabulous experience. Um, and, uh, you know, you really have to give credit. Uh, Rich at the Hop Garden really started it, like, I, I don't know, eight, nine years ago when we started having live music back in the Mill Park. And, uh, you know, you could go back and listen to live music and have a beer, and it's just kind of expanded from there. And we've got businesses that have been here for a long time, like the Schoolhouse Cafe. And, uh, you know, it's great having a business because you meet a lot of people. Uh, from, you know, everywhere from Chicago to different, you know, people bring their families here when they're visiting. It's, it's really fabulous. What do people like to do in Paoli? Well, uh, they like to drink and, <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest. We hit yeah. the right spot. <laughs> I see the beer garden right. yes. from out the window yes. right there. So you can have a beer at the Hop Garden or a drink at the Lazy Squirrel and you go listen to live music and you have a sandwich from the cookhouse, so that's one experience. You can paddle down the Sugar River with Sugar River Outfitters. There's great food in town between the Schoolhouse Cafe and then now that we have Seven Acre Dairy, um, you know, with an eight-room boutique motel, full-service restaurant and bar, and the Dairy Cafe. And then besides that, there's, there's great shopping. We've got award-winning cheeses at Landmark Creamery. We've got art at my place and at the Paola Art Shop. There's uh, clothing at the Purple Goose, there's Lily's that has uh, home decor and lifestyle kind of uh, products. It, yeah, it's really just a fabulous place to be. It's awesome. It yeah. sounds awesome. Yeah. Julie, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining us. We're going to go and check out your shop and okay. uh, pick out jewelry. some jewelry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, much more from Paoli coming up tonight at 5, but for now, NBC 15 News at 4. We'll be right back.